The White House says that it is cooperating with the Department of Justice, but is so far not explaining how or why several top secret documents were not in secure locations. One tranche was found last November in an office Joe Biden used before his time as president, though it wasn't made public until Tuesday. The U.S. Attorney General, however, says that following an initial inquiry, additional papers with classified markings were then found at Biden's Wilmington, Delaware home inside a locked garage in December, with one more found on Thursday morning. Now, the president says that he takes classified information seriously, but the attorney general has opted to appoint a special counsel to investigate the possible unauthorized removal and retention of classified documents. This appointment underscores for the public the department's commitment to both independence and accountability in particularly sensitive matters and to making decisions indisputably guided only by the facts and the law. Now, this creates a political headache for Biden after being highly critical of former President Trump's mishandling of documents. Trump first denied their existence, then made bizarre claims of declassification before getting entangled in a legal battle over their return. National security experts argue Biden's team handled this differently because it secured the documents and then gave them back in a timely manner. Now, at least initially, there's no indication of criminal wrongdoing, with Biden saying that he didn't know about these documents. Still, a bipartisan group of lawmakers is seeking an intelligence briefing on both the Biden and Trump case, along with a damage assessment. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.